Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to insert an image into your text edit field using the WYSIWYG and insert modules in Drupal 7. Continuing from last time when we enabled a WYSIWYG into our system, I actually had a comment on the video asking on how to insert an image. Uh, well, this actually isn't possible without another module called Insert, so I figured I would show you how to do that really quick before we got into uh, Views, which is what's going to be our next little mini-series because Views is going to take quite a few tutorials to go over in full. So before we get into that, let's uh, download the module Insert. Insert, search Drupal.org for it. All right, let's grab the latest one. And if you need help installing modules, uh, again, you can always check out the how to install a module uh, screencast that we did. I forget which number it is, but it was a few ones ago. So we'll go to modules and turn on insert. And of course, if there's any dependencies or anything that we need to have turned on as well as for insert to work, it's going to tell us, but it doesn't look like it. So click save. And to get this insert uh, module working, all you have to do is you have to have an image field field on your piece of content. And that image field has, you'll give it an option to use insert. So let's go to, I'm sorry, let's go to structure content types. And then let's add this to an article. So we'll go to manage fields. And then in, we're going to add a new field and this is going to be insert image well, I spelled something wrong. Insert. Uh, insert. Okay. And we're just going to say this is an image, and it's going to be an image like normal. And we'll just put this right here underneath this other one and click save. Okay. So, yep, yep, save field settings. And then the next screen here, this is where we're going to tell it to use insert. So if we scroll down here, there will be a insert tab. We'll just select this and we're gonna click enable insert button. And you wanna select all of these or, or if you set up a specific image style that you're gonna to wanna to use for this image in particular, um, you know, go ahead and do that. Actually, um, let's use the medium or project test because I know some of these are kind of gigantic. So, um, the default image um, is just going to be automatic. And let's see if we need anything else. Additional CSS class. You know, you know, you can do this if you want. But basically, this is it. You just have to select insert here. And if you want to be able to upload and insert more than one image, you're going to have to select this to be unlimited under number of values. Or otherwise, it's just going to allow you to insert one image. So click Save Settings here. And now if we go to add content and let's add an article. So test. Test. Okay. So if you see, here's our insert image. Let's choose a file. Um, let's see if I have anything. In my downloads. I have the same picture that we used before. Let's grab that. Click upload. Okay. So here it is. You can select it style, we'll select product test, and we'll click insert. And as you can see, here is the image in our WYSIWYG. It's actually, the reason why it's upside down in gray is because that's what project test is, if you remember from the image style tutorials. Also, if you'll notice, it added this image directly to the end of where our, um, our place was in our text. So if we have a break first and then click insert, you can see it puts it right in there again. And I mean, for any reason, if you want to insert it more than once, anytime you click this insert button, it's going to keep putting it in. And it's just basically adding this image to your WYSIWYG. And if you wanted to add another image, because we selected unlimited, it adds a new field here. We can just choose another one. And um, I don't even know if I have anything else on here that's an image. A lot of videos. Um, but yeah, if we had another image, actually, here, I'll just take a screenshot of this page really quick. Okay, screenshot. We can upload this. We'll also select project test and click insert. 
And you can see there's our screenshot as well, although it is upside down in black and white due to the image style. Actually, if we did want to now select automatic and click insert, it's going to click the full-sized image here, which is, as you can see, gigantic. Okay, so if we were to save this out, let's just click save. You can see that not only has it uh, added, let's see, down here, not only has it added our images, uh, it's also added this insert image field. So if we go back to the content type that we're at, you can tell it to just not show the insert image field by default. Here, content type, article, manage fields, and then manage display. We're going to say, you know, we don't want to show this, and we don't want to show the image. It's hidden. Okay, saved. So now the only ones that are going to be in here are the ones that were in our WYSIWYG. So let's click out of here. Refresh this content. And actually, it doesn't look like it's showing up. Let's see why. Oh, um, this isn't showing up because we have this filtered HTML. If we have this set to full HTML um, and save it here, it should work. Okay, so that is actually a problem on my, uh, on my part here. If uh, your text format has to be set to full HTML, if you'll notice, we didn't set this full HTML up to have a WYSIWYG. So as you can see, you could still use this insert here to add it if it's just set to full HTML, but let's just set this up um, so that it's exactly perfect. If we go back to configuration and then we go to um, WYSIWYG profiles, uh, we want to set this full HTML. We'll just click save. And let's set it up just really quick, buttons, whatever. We'll add, it. We'll add just a couple for now. If you remember from our last video, if not, you can go back and look at that one. If we save this out, go back here, and we edit this. Okay, now you can see that these images are inserted into the WYSIWYG. We save it, and it works. Um, if you want to change this full HTML to be your default, um, that's also in configuration. And then text formats. And then see here, you can drag which ones you want to be the initial one. So if we drag full HTML to the top, we won't have to worry about that from here on out. So if we come back to our page here, and let's create a new piece of content, we'll make it an article. Same as before, just garbage text right now. We'll select insert an image, we'll grab the screenshot, we'll insert it, and we'll upload it as project test insert. Here it is. You can see we're already set to full HTML. We can save this, and here it is. Okay, so that's all working. That's how you insert an image into your text edit screen into your WYSIWYG in Drupal 7. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.